Hello everyone, haven't done a video for a while because I've been working very busy on the model and it's finally finished and it is the Aoshima uh, Cyber Formula Gallon um, It's 1D24 scale and it's a racing car from the series Cyber Formula uh, i got nothing else to say now so we are just going to stare at it Okay, I'm bored. Let's move on the slideshow. Okay, that was a bit of a lie. Uh, there's a little bit more about it, at least just to tell you what it is. Um, I like the Cyber Formula series quite a lot. Their cars are crazy, as you can see here. This one is the Gallon in the boost mode. And uh, as you can see, it's in boost mode there for the two turbine booster port is actually switched on and activated and come out. And what well, you see it in the um, clip show anyway. Yes. The exhaust does open up like that. Yeah, there's no articulation on this model at all. It's simply is a display model. There is no interior detail. Uh, there's some interior cockpit detail, but um, there's nothing on the underside. It's completely bare. Uh, there's a little bit of strut and um, canvas suspension, for example. But yeah, none of them are moving. The best thing you have is that the wheel does turn, but um, it's not very... That's, yeah, the clearance is really, really poor, as you can see here. The wheel doesn't really turn. Even if I lift this up, it's still barely turn. Yeah, clearance is not very good, so it really is just a static model. Um, I haven't built a racing car for a long, long time. The last one I did was a Tamiya uh, Nissan Skyline um, R35 uh, Nürburgring edition, and I completely botched it up. I was a kid when I was about was about 14 years old. I don't even know that I can actually spray paint a kit. I had to hand brush the body with, with black paint and streak mark everywhere. So this time round I do it in spray paint. The white is done in matte white because I was stupid. Uh, but the metallic blue is actually metallic blue from uh, Humbro uh, acrylic range, the Baltic blue. Uh, the red is airbrush. Uh, it's a matte red but then again this time uh, when I airbrush it by hand, it's actually much smoother, unlike the matte white, which is very rough. So I did a lot of clear coat over the whole kit, and then uh, I have to use car wax because I ran out of clear coat, and it was pretty smooth already, but it wasn't glossy enough. So I used car wax on it, so it's a little bit glossier than I... It's not as glossy as I really wanted, to be honest, but it's pretty good. For first attempt after so many years, it's, I think it's good. I think I managed to achieve something, and hopefully when I do the next one, it's going to be better. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, look forward to me when I'm building the Acerada and the Olga when they're re-released uh, in December. Yeah, which means you'll probably see December. Probably 2015, 16, 17. I had this kid for about four years.